Okay, this is Jeff, W6FCC. We we'll do a real, real brief overview of how to run CW with RSBA1. First of all, of course, you want to be in the CW mode, so let's click on that key there. And then you need to click on the CW keyer at the top, and up pops uh, some information. Let me clear that. And uh, this is what was sent, that's why it says log, and this is what's about to be sent, that's what's on input. Down here, right click, this is where the speed in the side tone level is. When you first run CW, uh, you'll find that this max key speed is extremely slow. Let me see what that sounds like if I, if I transmit something. I'll just type in testing and you'll see how painfully slow this is. Enough to drive you nuts. So, And it won't change speed until the word is finished. So let's see what that means. I'm going to do this. Test, test, test. Now it's going to start at the real slow speed and I'm going to speed this up right now. You notice the speed didn't change until the word was finished being transmitted. So that's number one. Number two is when you're listening on CW and you want to make sure you're on the same frequency as the station you're hearing, uh, you'll hear tones coming in your receiver like this tone or maybe you like a higher pitched tone. You decide what's the tone that's most comfortable for your own ears. This would be the middle and that's kind of low. That's the high end. So let's just pick one here. If you tune in a station and you're hearing the CW, you know, you hear somebody else calling CQ, right? And you're hearing that. If you tune that station in to that frequency, you're going to be on exactly the same frequency that the other station is on. This is just good practice in Morse code use, is to transmit on the same frequency as the other station. Minimizes frequency use. That's another thing. Now, you want to be in the break-in mode if possible when you're running it. If I uh, start typing characters, testing W6FCC, and uh, that's W5, that's okay, and I hit transmit, you notice it's transmitting. If I do an auto transmit, it'll transmit between each word. So I'm typing T-E-S-T-I-N-G. Now watch what happens when I hit the space bar. It's a little awkward if you're a slow typist because you'll be saying, you know, uh, uh, Q-S-L-D-E and then you're slow on the take up it, it'll sound very awkward to the other station. So you may not want to have it in auto transmit. So you're listening to the person say and his name and his QTH, and you go QSL uh, QTH and name, or I guess you could do uh, and name. Let's see how let's see how that and character sounds. And I'm going to hit a space at the end of name so that it actually transmits that whole word. It skipped the ampersand completely. So how do you send an and? Well, you can either just send it out, put it back in transmit mode, or you can do this. But you'll have to learn what the various characters are. Now, there's another special character, and that's the caret. If you hit the caret and you hit two letters, like SK, space. I'm not in auto transmit mode, I'm going to have to transmit that. You notice it ran the characters together like it's supposed to. If you leave the caret off and you do this, it's going to sound like two separate letters. So if you want to send like the BK character, uh, you would definitely want to put in that caret before the BK. Uh, or you could say uh, uh, back to you or B to you and then do 
BK. So here, what's this sound like? So that's kind of some quick stuff. Next thing is, what about these memories? Um, if you edit this set of CW Keir characters, you can come down here, and here's one that says CQ short. What you do is you double click this, and you type in whatever you want to. CQ, CQ, DE, W6, FCC, W6, FCC, and then, or just K for go ahead and transmit. So we save that, hit the uh, tab key to save it, and that's CQ short. Let me go ahead and put this thing in auto transmit mode so that it transmits it when I hit the key. And there's CQ short. And that will do that. You can also do it this way where you set up your CQ and you do not do automatic and you wait until the opportunity arises for you to send your CQ and you go ahead and hit the transmit button. In this mode if you want to stop the transmission and you hit cancel it will stop transmitting and then you can finish it. So that's the brief use of it. So you now know what the pitch is for. That's for calibrating what you're hearing. Uh, you know what the TX, you can set this auto, you know why it's in break-in mode. If it's not in break-in mode, and you pick this uh, short Q cell, transmit it. It doesn't transmit. Notice this? There's no TX going on. It, in order for this to transmit, this has to be in break-in mode. So now we go ahead and we say, what's that short Q cell, and we hit it. Now it's transmitting, and you'll see this is down here. You can do all these tests, by the way, with RF power set to zero. And uh, so you can learn how to operate the keyboard and how to make this work. And if you know how to copy code in your head, uh, you have it made. If you need to write it down on a separate piece of paper, you need to have it next to your keyboard. So there you go. That's it. W6FCC, have fun. CW uh, works very well with RSBA1.